Good morning guys. Yeah, I have looked better. <laughs> Happy Friday. I hope you are all doing really, really well. I haven't spoken to you guys since last Wednesday. I'm going off to get my hair done this morning. Protocol for every single Friday. But I didn't get my hair done last Friday because I got my extensions in and I was waiting for the bonds to kind of settle down. So I just have it up in like some sort of scruffy bun. I haven't made the bed or anything yet. I've just got up, got dressed and I'm going to go to my hair appointment and hopefully have nice hair in the next little while because I've only like washed it I think twice since I got it done so I love getting my hair blow dried and it's just ugh, everything about it is amazing. This is what we're looking like this morning scruff AF. I'm wearing these ripped jeans from Penny's sandals that look like they should be Birkenstocks but they're clearly not and then my bag from Ireland top from Topshop. This is the joys of going out with a boy who's into cars. <sighs> I have to wear these shoes because my feet are so badly cut. So the other night I was showing you the outfit that I wore out and I was wearing like jeans and whatever top I was wearing, like that flowy top. And I had shoes on. I don't know if I showed you the shoes, they're in my car currently. I want to show you them because if anybody is gonna buy those shoes, I say stay clear of them. I got them on misguided and I've never worn such uncomfortable shoes in my entire life. My feet are cut to bits. Like I don't mean like my ankles or like around my toes. I mean the balls of my feet and up around where my toes like where they come out <laughs> is all like I have like a slit there where all the skin. Oh it's gross. Really really gross. So I have to wear comfortable shoes and the weather's not great today to be wearing sandals but I don't care they're the only thing that's comfortable on my feet right now I wore runners yesterday they burnt me because my ankles are all like cut and everything like that it's just it's really gross put up my vlog from the weekend when me and Jimmy went away for our anniversary we went into Galway and I got a comment in the like comment section it kind of made me laugh a little bit um because I'd say the girl is only kind of young and she was like because um, there was like traditional Irish music playing behind me and she was like oh does everywhere in Ireland listen to that music because I'd love to go to Ireland and I just kind of laughed I just kind of have this feeling that certain people who are not from Ireland would kind of have this like I don't know like not an opinion but kind of like they would suspect that we all live in Tatch cottages <laughs> and that we listen to trad music and that we still don't have the internet which I think is really funny I know people don't fe think like that but sometimes I think that's how people see us <laughs> like living kind of in a isolated country uh, I just thought it was really funny no to that girl we don't listen to Irish traditional music you have to go to like certain bars that would play that music I would not go to a bar that plays that music it's not because I don't like Irish traditional music I just feel like there's a time and a place for it um, and in my life uh, there's no time and no place because I'm not a big fan of Irish traditional music I can appreciate it I used to play the violin when I was younger and uh, the Faddock Stone or your tin whistle um, and I went to an all Irish speaking school but Irish Kayleigh Fla diddly eye music is not my forte so yeah if you were coming to Ireland and you loved that music and you wanted to hear Irish traditional music definitely coming to Dublin and going to Galway and going to Kerry and Cork and places like that you're gonna get all that music which I think is great um, but like it's it's not like what we all listen to in our pubs definitely not and Irish pubs are the best pubs I've ever been in in my entire life and I don't care what anybody says I know I'm biased but they they are the best pubs in the entire world. I've been to pubs in Spain, France, I've been to pubs in England, I've been to pubs in America, and I still think that the pubs slash nightlife in Ireland is the best that I've ever, ever gone to. Unless you're out with a bunch of Irish people and you're over in like Spain, like that's the thing that's always like really fun but Irish people will find fun wherever we go which I love so I'm nearly at my hair appointment now oh my god I'm in the wrong gear <laughs> I went to get my coffee this morning and I go to like there's two coffee places I'll go to that are near my house other than that I'd be like a Costa or whatever but like I don't know I Costa sometimes is hit and miss 
hit and miss for me. Starbucks is just incredibly calorific. So when I'm feeling like I want a treat, I will get a Starbucks. If I had Starbucks every day, which I probably would if I allowed myself, I would be like 17 stone overweight because I just would never stop drinking it. Like it's my favorite coffee in the entire world. So there's a place near my house that I go to it's just like literally five minutes down the road and it's like the nicest coffee i always get caramel latte always 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 and they don't use the artificial sweetened car caramel flavoring which i love I hate the taste of aspartame i know that like diet coke and stuff like i drink a little bit of diet coke i wouldn't drink it very often but we did like sensory analysis when i was in college and i had to taste pure aspartame and it just makes me sick every time i taste it now and i can taste it off the artificial sweetener so that's why costas caramel lattes are not the best just at my appointment now i've lamped my car and i'm just after seeing the shoes from the other night these demons like they look so lovely and nice but they have harmed my feet to no extent and like they're not even worn like i just don't know what to do with them I'm, I don't want to donate them to some poor soul who has to endure the pain of them but I you know I feel like it's wasteful to throw them out so I don't know what to do with them I shouldn't be touching the soles of them walking around Dublin streets because I cannot wear them again they're going to cut me so bad and they were worn one seen 40 and 50 euro as well which annoys me that I can't wear them Anyway, I'm gonna go in and get my hair done now and I will talk to you in a moment. So I'm just out of the hairdressers right now. My hair all blow dried straight and I just feel so much better now that it's all washed and cleaned and blow dried. So I have to go do shopping now. The shopping that I would like to do is clothes shopping, but unfortunately I have to go and do food shopping, which I absolutely dread because, especially on a Friday, I usually plan out my meals. If I go on a Monday or a Tuesday, I can plan them out for the week and stuff. But if I go on a Friday, Friday, I'm like right what are we eating tonight what are we eating tomorrow I just can't plan it that way because the weekend's so sporadic it could be anywhere it could be you know I might not even be home for dinner we could be in like Kira's or somewhere else you never know so it's just I don't know but I have to do it because there's nothing I mean nothing to eat in the house there's a tiny bit of cheese and I think there might be a wrap left that's about it. So I have to go to Tesco's now, which I'm dreading, but we better get it over and done with. I might take a trip to Penny's and I also bought some stuff in River Island when I was in the hairdressers. I love online shopping. Okay, so I'm just out of Penny's and uh, yeah, I spent more money than I should have spent, but I mean, I got really cute things. I'm gonna just show you one thing. I hope it's not too dark. These cute little black heels. Look how cute they are. And they have like a strappy sandal on, or strappy crisscross on the front. And I got them in khaki green as well. Very, very, very comfortable. But they were reduced down from like 20 or down to nine, I think it was. Yeah, 19 down to nine. I am so excited for them. And they're just like such a perfect size heel that you can kind of wear them on a day-to-day -day basis and they're not going to cut your feet. And I got them in khaki green as well, which I am obsessed with because it's something like these on River Island's website. But when I went to buy them, they didn't have my size. Now these are a size three, so they're a little bit smaller than what I would normally get. Obviously I'm size four, but I fit into them. So, I mean, there must be a big three. Also today, guys, very exciting for the vlog channel. We got to, oh my God people walking out in front of cars. I'll never understand it. Um, anyway, we got to 6,000 followers here. I am so, well, subscribers, I mean. I am so excited for that. 6,000 of you are subscribed to this channel. That is so exciting. I actually didn't think that that many people would be interested in me vlogging. And actually, almost like out of all the views and stuff, like I'm not like big into my views, but almost 50% of the people that are watching which is really, really, really cool because if you get five to 10% of your subscribers watching, that's pretty good. And I have almost 50% watching my vlog channel. I am super excited about that. Thank you so much guys for all of your support. It honestly means so much to me. And the fact that you're enjoying my content means even more. Thank you so, 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 so much. Okay, so I started the shopping and I got my smoked salmon because I was gonna have smoked salmon and eggs and spinach for breakfast. So look at this, I picked up this. I'm gonna be making Nando's Perry Perry chicken. I think we might do it like on the barbecue. And I picked up some of these for lazy days and mushrooms and peppers and stuff and some Fanta for Jimmy and sweets. 
and then my Fuji heater kit. So that's what we've got so far. I always get these waters as well because they're just really handy if you're going to bed at night instead of bringing bottle or glasses of water up and buying the big liter ones. I just buy or just drink these on the go then you can bring them everywhere you want. So I've got a big one. Hey Harley. Harley. Hi. Hello. What are you doing? I know. Just hanging out. <laughs> a little bit of moisturizer there. <laughs> Sorry guys I never came back yesterday as in Friday. Today is Saturday but I said I would do two like two days in one because I'm kind of busy. Well I was busy yesterday and today yesterday I was cleaning the house how exciting and today I'm actually gonna film and I was just saying hang on I'll just sit down here I was just saying there on Twitter like how I was sitting down to film like I'm sitting down I'd say two hours getting ready to film and just my I don't know creative juices are just not flowing I was like I don't know what to film and then I was kind of just like weird Ugh, what is that Ooh, something weird on my skin yeah, I was just sitting down and getting ready to film and just nothing was coming into my mind even though I have like so many video ideas like in front of me on my notepad and I just didn't want to do any of them I was like no I don't want to do that today no I don't want to do that today so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna film but I know that I have to do all that eBay video videos um but I want to do like eBay week I just want to be able to make sure I can upload them like consecutively and not like all over the place sporadically so I want to listen to me my big Lee words. Just was kind of concerned that I didn't have the time to film all them, edit them and get them stuck up next week so I think I'll just start filming them now and possibly just like put all the clips into like a folder and leave it on my computer and get around to it maybe next week or so I can upload it for the week after. Because next week I think is a busy week for me. I have a meeting on Tuesday. I have my course on Monday. I'm going away to a spa with Kira and one of our other friends Aoife next week. So much stuff going on next week. I feel like I have another meeting as well. And then I have Nivea stuff to do next week as well. So it's going to be pretty hectic. So I'm hoping I can get all my videos up next week. This week has been just mental as well. And I've only gotten to put one video up so far. So hopefully I'll get to put up another one today as in Saturday. You know when you just have one of those weeks it's just manic. And it's just trying to find time to do anything is impossible. And even visiting your family becomes impossible. I had to go and visit my mum and dad the other day, like the other morning. If I'm not able to film today because I'm just not feeling creative enough, then I just won't do it. And that's the funny thing about filming, you really have to be in the form for it because you gotta put your game face on and you know, you gotta be in good form. Nobody wants to watch a video of a moody, moody person and you know, it's kinda hard to do it when you're just not focused and not ready to do it. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna film something, uh, hopefully today. Ooh, camera going down there. Me and Jimmy stayed up till like half one last night. We were watching a documentary on the Eagles. I love the Eagles. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. My mum and dad like have me reared on the Eagles and Fleetwood Mac because they loved them when they were teenagers. I was looking at that with Jimmy last night. It was so good, like really, 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 really good. It's on Netflix if anybody else is interested in seeing it. I think it's just called The Eagles and it's just a documentary on how they started and you know the development of the band and about the original members and then how they got the new members and stuff like that. Just watch it, it's really, really good. And just talking about like the conflicts between the band, like Glenn Fry and Don Henley being like the alpha males and the other guys just feeling like they weren't good enough and then like like about your man Joe Walsh wrecking um, hotel rooms and stuff like that. I just found it really, really interesting because obviously I didn't know that an awful lot of that stuff went on because I just appreciated their music. Hey guys, so I'm just done filming. I did two of my eBay videos and I did a haul from Pennies, which you'll probably see before this vlog. I don't know. I have to edit the vlog from Wednesday still. I'm so far behind with my editing, but it's just, like I said, busy, busy week. So I'm excited about those eBay videos and when they actually go up live for you guys to see them because I don't know what they're going to be like. All the products I'm wearing on my face are from eBay right now. I hate the foundation. You guys already know that I hate this foundation. You'll see more of it in the video to know what foundation it is. I just think it makes my skin look 
like crap. So I'm gonna go finish my editing, upload my Penny's haul, and then I'm gonna watch Big Brother kind of have it on the background, and then I'm gonna have something to eat, and then a shower. So I will catch you up later on. Good evening, dear friends. I had every intention of, oh God, I nearly fell off the bed. I had every intention of, making my bed earlier on i stripped it and i like was gonna put on fresh sheets and then i said no we'll throw the sheets that we have on it in the wash and i'll put them back on because i'm loving them lately because they're like the marble sheets you know and now i've left it so late and i want to watch a movie we're watching netflix i've just finished editing and uploading and my face is so oily i hate this foundation i need to take that off now and put a face mask on because i'm gonna have so many spots tomorrow and now i have to put all the sheets back on and I'm just really annoyed at myself because I should have done it hours ago. Instead, I've sat down and watched scary movie and... <sighs> I love scary movie. If you guys don't know, you know, like, I just love the skits and stuff. I just think it's so funny. Scary movie 2 I watched last night because that was on last Saturday. I never got to finish it, so I finished it last night. And then I watched scary movie 1 today at lunch or after lunch. It's just, it's, it's so funny. I'm going to finish putting the sheets onto the bed. And I'm gonna put lights into lights batteries into my lights up above there and turn them on because I think they're gonna be really cute and take this makeup off. That's what I'm gonna do now. I just put batteries in them. Oh look how cute they are. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed. I don't think anything's gonna happen to them. Like they're not gonna burn or anything like that. They don't get hot, they're only little lights. I think they'll be fine to leave up there. They're not gonna cause any sort of incident, but they are so cute. And this is where we're at now. I have to change all the sheets. And I've like, oh, look, I hate when this happens. I'm like, oh, I'll just throw my dressing gown onto the bed. The rest of the room just gets really messy because the bed is not made. So there we go, bed all done. I need to pull the curtain properly. But um, yeah, they look really, really cute. The lights actually look an awful lot like more yellow than they are in person. They're just warm. They just look really, really yellow. They're actually the same as my lamp. Don't know why they're so bright, but yeah, there we go. Looks lovely. Can't wait to get in later on. So I'm gonna go down and watch a movie now. I took my eye makeup off badly. <laughs> look how bad it is. Um, yeah, we're gonna watch a movie now. Last night we watched a really, really good movie called Changing Lanes or Changing Lanes? Yeah, I think it was Changing Lanes with Ben Affleck in it and Samuel L. Jackson. It was really, really, really good. I've never seen it before, but I just thought it was really good. If you're looking for a good movie to watch, I recommend. I need to seriously do a face mask right now because my skin is real congested and kind of like spots everywhere. I'm going to finish the vlog right here now, guys, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. I love you so much. Bye.